Hi everyone, I'm Sam from Rise, your one-stop shop for all your customer engagement activities. In this video, we're going to provide an in-depth review of our different workflow options, allowing you to create an advanced, customized loyalty program that fits your needs and will help you smash your business goals. Let's see how you can set it up. To set up a loyalty scheme, go to your Rise Dashboards Loyalty and Rewards tab. In this tab, you can choose a pre-made workflow that we've created for you to make it super easy to set up your loyalty program. If you want to create a more customized option, you can choose to create your own workflow and start from scratch. Before we get started, anytime you can test your workflow here. This will send an email with the correct reward according to what you enter in the condition box. This test will also actually add store credit to your account, so you can see how the workflow transactions appear on the management side. You can activate your workflow here, delete it here, and save it here. Here, you have different triggers you can choose from that will activate the workflow. Order created will activate the workflow once the order has been created. This can also work before the payment has been processed and approved. Order paid will activate the workflow after the payment has been processed and accepted. Account created will activate the workflow once a customer creates an account in your Shopify store. The unused store credit action is for the reminders workflow. You can set this up in your active re-engagement tab. Review created will activate the workflow once a customer leaves a review through one of the review platforms you are integrated with. Successful referral will send out store credit to a customer who has referred a friend and the friend purchased in your store. This can also reward the referred customer. Once you choose the trigger you are interested in, you will be able to choose the different conditions for your customers and the rewards you'd like to give out. For each trigger, there may be different actions and conditions that will be available. The different conditions include the following. Total order price, which is the total price including shipping and tax. Subtotal order price, which is the order's price without shipping and tax. Total spent, which is the amount the customer spent in your store in their lifetime. Orders count is how many orders the customer created. Customers tag will allow you to include or exclude customers that have a certain tag and create more personalized loyalty schemes. Product IDs will reward customers only if they have a certain item in their cart. To get the product ID, simply go to your Shopify admin and enter your product page. Here, you can copy the number from the end of the URL and paste in the workflow. With the Customer Store Account condition, you can decide if you want to issue rewards exclusively to customers who have or haven't created a store's account. With the Customer Created condition, you can reward only customers who created a store account before or after a certain date. You can add more conditions by clicking Add Condition. This will make sure a customer meets all the conditions before getting rewarded. After choosing a condition, you can add actions you'd like to happen once the condition is met. You can also go straight from the trigger to the action without adding a condition prior to that. The Issue Store Credit will issue the customer's store credit to their loyalty card once the condition is met. In this action, you have quite a few options. First, you can issue fixed store credit. This will issue a fixed value of store credit once a condition is met. You can choose to apply this fixed value each time a product is purchased from a certain collection by clicking this checkbox. Here, you can add the collection ID of the products you'd like this to apply to. In the percentage of option, store credit will be issued as a percentage of the value type selected. You can give back a percentage from the total cart value subtotal cart value, or a percentage back from the value of certain items in the cart. When choosing the item price option, note that this will give a reward based on the actual item price, and if a discount was given, it will give a reward based on the original price. To collect the collection ID, go to your Shopify admin and go to your collection, and copy the number at the end of the URL. The For Every action will reward customers for every value they spend, depending on what you choose. Here, you have a few options. Total price, subtotal price, item price, which will allow you to reward customers for every amount they spend in a certain collection, 
and total spent, which is the total amount spent by your customers in a lifetime, including shipping and tax. An example of how this action works is if you choose to create a for every $100 spent reward $10 program and a customer spends $200 in your store, they will receive $20. For all of the options in the issue store credit action, you can add an expiration date. You can either choose a fixed date to have all credit expire or a dynamic expiration date that will be according to when the credit was issued. In this section, you can also edit the message that will go out to your customers when receiving the store credit. You can edit the email subject and the text that will appear in the email itself. Moving on to other actions, you can choose to issue limited store credit as opposed to normal store credit. This will create store credit that can be limited to be used only on certain collections and the credit won't be able to be used to pay for shipping and tax or combined with other discount codes. This credit will create a new code and will not be added to your customer's loyalty card. This action has the same options as the regular issue store credit action. Another action the workflow can perform can be to add customer tags. This will add tags to all your customers who meet the workflow's conditions. This is great for customer management. You can also choose to add a delay to the store credit that is sent out. To use this action, make sure you add the action before the issue store credit action. Create tier programs by adding more condition tiers to your workflow. Note that when creating the tiered programs, you must order the tiers by the highest to lowest value. With this option, you can, for example, create different amounts of cash back to different types of store credit. So, if a customer spends over $1,000, they get 20% cash back, and if they pay over $500, they receive 15% cash back. That was the overview of Rise's advanced workflow conditions and actions. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to speak with you through our chat or email. We also have an extensive knowledge base where you can find more information. Check out our other videos to learn more about Rise's features.